The transvenous electrical cardioversion, also known as TVEC procedure, is widely used in equine medicine area. In other words, again, horses develop atrial fibrillation without heart disease, also known as lone AFib, lone atrial fibrillation. So horses develop atrial fibrillation, and those horses develop clinical signs of exercise intolerance and weakness, lethargy not performing. So converting atrial fibrillation to normal sinus rhythm by electrical cardioversion is a widely used procedure throughout the country. However, um, that procedure has not been done in the dog and Auburn Cardiology uh, put our uh, forces together, ideas together, put, uh, utilize the same technique that has been used in equine medicine, converting atrial fibrillation to normal sinus rhythm to canine patients. So actually that was triggered by uh, one of the interaction with our one of the uh, clients last year. So the patient's name is Diva, and the dog had severe cardiomyopathy and was in congestive heart failure. As a result of the severe heart disease and heart failure, the dog still the dog had atrial fibrillation as well. Initially, we started to manage, we started to control the atrial fibrillation with the medications. Yes, we accomplished a normal uh, heart rate was about uh, 130, 140 bits per minute. So heart rate was adequately, successfully controlled with the medication. However, the patient continued to show some signs of lethargy, not eating, anorexic, not eating, uh, decreased appetite, and uh, reduced the stamina, activity levels, and all that. So after that, owner brought this idea, actually, the owner brought this idea up, saying that, is there a way we can convert this atrial fibrillation to normal sinus rhythm by TVEC procedure? He read through the Googles and internet out there, he came up with this idea. So I, I said, well, we have accumulated experience in converting atrial fibrillation to normal sinus rhythm in the horses. However, uh, the mainstay of treating atrial fibrillation in the dog has been just using the medications to slow down the heart rate, but that was not helping much the patient, the diva, because the diva continued to show those signs of lethargy. So uh, we attempted uh, that procedure. So again, procedure-wise, fa fairly straightforward, and procedure-wise, fairly uh, non-eventful. Uh, Basically, we anesthetize a patient and placing uh, the introducer on, to one of the vessels and placing the electrode catheter into the heart and delivering a shock and converting the atrial fibrillation to normal sinus rhythm. And since then, the diva still is in normal sinus rhythm without any antiarrhythmic drugs. A diva is a playful, enjoyable, eating well, playful, doing well, owners are happy. So that again, um, initiated by the owner's idea and the patient is doing really well. After that, we had two other cases. We converted atrial fibrillation to normal sinus rhythm with the same procedure, TVEC, and those patients are doing well without any antiarrhythmic medications. We have successful results so far. And we are hoping to expand case, um, case, uh, case loads to have more procedures to get more experienced, and then we can share our experience with other colleagues.